I'm back with another Pro Tools Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to talk about Playlist Mode in Pro Tools 8. Alright, um, what this is, it is a uh, mode uh, where you can actually record something and say you like the take, but you want to record it again. Do you want to do another take where you don't want to lose that take? Well, this just helps you do that and helps you where you can switch between, between takes and listen to each one to see which one you like better. Um, also, you can loop record with this. I'll show you also how to loop record with this today. Um, so let's jump right into it. Let me switch this back. All right, I have a guitar loop here. It was provided to me from my boy Rolo. Um, shout out to you, Rolo. Um, all right, now I'm gonna play this for you. I'll just let you hear it real quick. I like this take, I really do, but say I wanted the guitarist to re record this take over, but I didn't want to lose it. So what I would do is, is come up here to the name of your track, click on the arrow beside it, which is, I think this is called a uh, playlist uh, viewer, and once you click on it, come up to new, and click OK, it'll automatically name it for you. So where did my other track go well I didn't lose it that was kind of the whole purpose of this you come over here to your playlist viewer and select playlist now you can see your next playlist at the bottom here you can solo it and uh, take a listen to it and you can record your next track so let's do so let's record our second take So we have our second take. Okay, now we can switch between these takes by just soloing whichever one we want to listen to. Alright, now we're going to get into the loop recording, which still has something to do with this playlist view. But to loop record, there's a few things you need to change. Um, one, you need to come up to setup, preferences, operation, and come over here to automatically create new playlist when loop recording you want to make sure this is checked okay so this way it automatically creates a new playlist name every time that it loops while you're loop recording hit OK now you want to come up here to record right click and click loop now we're going to select a four bar section here Now we're going to hit record and let it loop and I'll show you what it does for you. Alright, we're going to let this loop once or twice and then we'll take a look at it. Alright, here we go. now as you can see every one of these takes that I just took pops up in our playlist view now you can pick and choose which one of these you want to use with the rest of it right, so let's let it run through I choose if I, I choose that one, you know, and say you like this, so just bring it on, uh, drop it in, and you can use that part of it. 
All right, some, you know, you may have to come in here and do a little crossfading where need be. Look here. It may not look like it, but if I zoom in, you can see that little bitty notch right there can cause a glitch. So come down here to the bottom, click and hold, and crossfade. Okay, you can also select the two areas. Actually, before you do so, you have to take it out of grid mode, put it back in slip. Now, you can come down here and select your area, crossfade. Now you won't get a glitch in it. All right, I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Um, if you, you can rate and comment um, and definitely subscribe, tell your friends about it. Um, if you got somebody else that's into music and need some Pro Tools help or Logic help, just get with me and I'll try to help you guys the best I can. It's your boy, Ill Will. I'll holler at you.